as optimal health becomes a priority for many of us, now more than ever. It's little surprise that an increasing number of people are looking to take preventative action by seeking diets and lifestyle choices that offer immunity benefits. So in this video, I've taken the time to dive deeper into a topic that's close to my heart and share with you 8 powerful ways to boost your immunity. I'll also share a bonus tip at the end that I find fascinating and you've probably never heard of, so stay tuned for that. Hello and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to achieve an optimal state of health within your mind and body with a little help from Mother Nature, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Let's dive in. 1. Sauna Bathing Sauna has been a tradition embedded in the culture of Finland and is used for the purposes of pleasure, wellness and relaxation. This is because the high temperatures increase the secretion of endorphins, the feel-good neurotransmitter. But beyond that, sauna bathing has been used as a method of hardening, which means enhancing the body's resistance. It has been linked to several health benefits, including reduced risk of high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, as well as improving conditions such as arthritis, headache and flu. Evidence suggests that sauna bathing is beneficial for lung function by improving vital capacity. One study at the University of Nijmegen, the Netherlands, was conducted to determine the influence of sauna on pulmonary function in 12 male patients with obstructive pulmonary disease. The results revealed a significant improvement of the lung function parameters and concluded that sauna exposure improved breathing in patients with asthma or chronic bronchitis. Regular sauna use, at least two to three times a week, can help boost the immune system. First, it helps draw toxins out of the fat cells in our bodies through sweating, which include residue from pharmaceuticals, heavy metals, as well as chemicals we absorb from the environment. This in turn helps our kidneys flush these out more efficiently. Saunas can help lower blood pressure, even sleep better at night due to its stress-reducing effects. But what's even more interesting is that every time you use a sauna, you're reinforcing your body's natural defense mechanisms. The heat inside a sauna raises your body's core temperature by 1 to 2 degrees Celsius. This is like having an artificial fever. There are indicators that white blood cells in your body can increase as a result. 2. Immune boosting vitamins and minerals. Maintaining a healthy and varied diet filled with all sorts of nutrients is important for the immune system. However, there are some elements that are especially important. Vitamin A is known as an anti-inflammatory vitamin and has a critical role in enhancing immune function. This includes restoring the function of mucus barriers in your eyes, lungs, gut and genitals, which protect against bacteria and infections. Vitamin A deficiency can increase susceptibility to infections and delay recovery when you get sick. Studies suggest that correcting vitamin A deficiencies in children reduce mortality from diseases such as measles, malaria and certain forms of diarrhea in developing countries. We all know that vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant that protects cells from free radicals and has the ability to stimulate the production of white blood cells. Vitamin C is stored in high quantities in the adrenal glands to help make adrenal hormones. But did you know that bleeding gums, slow wound healing, dry and split hair, wrinkled skin and even low iron levels are signs that you could be deficient in vitamin C? Moreover, low vitamin C levels have been linked to chronic diseases. The good news is that it's easily obtained from food sources if consumed in its natural, unprocessed form. Vitamin D is not only important for bone and muscle health, but it protects against pathogens and modulates normal immune function. This vitamin is so important, in fact, that low levels are associated with an increased susceptibility to infection. This includes respiratory diseases such as tuberculosis, asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, as well as viral and bacterial respiratory infections. Some studies show that having healthy levels of vitamin D can help keep your immune system healthy and protect against respiratory illnesses in general. Another study suggests that vitamin D3 supplementation during the winter helps produce the likelihood of developing the flu. 
it's important to note that because people with darker skin tones absorb smaller amounts of UVB light, they might need to sensibly extend exposure to sunlight to allow their skin to produce adequate levels of vitamin D. Selenium is a trace mineral that plays a major role in thyroid hormone metabolism, DNA formation and repair, oxidative damage and fighting of body infections. Animal research demonstrates that selenium supplements may enhance antiviral defense against influenza strains, including H1 and 1. Zinc is an essential and likely the most important mineral for immunity because it's needed for developing and regulating the functioning of the immune system. This trace mineral has the power to inhibit viral hijacking to self-replicate, hence increasing your body's resistance to infection and decreasing susceptibility to viruses. That is, of course, if there is enough zinc inside the cells, which highlights the importance of regulating zinc distribution to inhibit viral propagation. Did you know that zinc deficiency in developing countries affect nearly 2 billion people? While it's always better to get your nutrients directly from food, many people turn to supplements to meet their recommended dosages, which are ideally extracted from food sources. 3. Healing and nutrient-dense foods the food you eat can significantly help prevent and manage illnesses. This alone can literally transform your health. These are some of the most powerful, nutrient-dense foods that will help heal the body. Garlic doubles as an antibacterial and immune booster. The immune boosting properties are attributed to a heavy concentration of the main ingredient in garlic, allicin. Studies have shown that garlic reduces the risk of becoming sick in the first place, as well as how long you stay sick. Not only that, it can help reduce the severity of your symptoms if you do get sick with a cold or a flu, and even prevent your illness entirely. Turmeric has anti-inflammatory qualities that also relieve symptoms of cold and flu. It protects the liver and adrenal glands from toxins and helps the body naturally cleanse the respiratory tract. Turmeric can significantly enhance antioxidation in the body, which is attributed to its main natural polyphenol, curcumin. Another way to combat the first signs of flu is to turn up the heat. Chili peppers are packed with the active compound capsaicin, and this has the ability to stimulate circulation and eliminate toxins out of the body. It raises your body temperature, which makes you sweat and increases the activity of your immune system. Ginger is another ingredient with immune-boosting benefits. It has anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties, which can help relieve a sore throat. It also promotes digestive health and improves cardiovascular disorders. Thanks to ingredients like ginger rolls and paradols, ginger is a valuable food that can be used in the prevention of various cancers. Irish moss is an excellent immune-boosting food that can be invaluable in the recovery from debilitating illnesses. Its high vitamin and mineral content make it the perfect food to replenish and revitalize the body. Out of 102 minerals our body needs, Irish moss contains 92 of them. It's rich in potassium iodide, which dissolves troublesome phlegm, making it beneficial for those suffering from colds, allergies and asthma. Raw and unfiltered honey contains amino acids, B vitamins, iron, potassium, zinc and other important vitamins and minerals. Honey's power to kill germs comes from hydrogen peroxide produced by a B enzyme. Manuka honey takes this a step further as it contains high concentrations of a substance called MGO. The more MGO there is in the honey, which is referred to as the UMF rating, the more antiviral and antibacterial properties it has. Moringa is a treasure house of all essential nutrients and is one of the best immune-boosting foods. The leaves are an extremely rich source of iron, vitamin C and A, among many others. These are essential for building a resilient immune system. Moringa is so nutritionally potent, in fact, that it contains some 92 vitamins and minerals and 46 antioxidants. It's no wonder it's called the miracle tree and the tree of life. So if you have a current cold or flu, or you're just looking to build up your immune system, consuming Moringa on a regular basis will nourish your body, help ward off sickness and boost energy levels. 4. Take probiotics. 
While a nutrient-dense diet usually provides all the necessary immune-boosting vitamins and minerals, certain health conditions hinder the body's ability to break down and fully absorb these nutrients. An imbalance in the gut microbiota can be triggered by digestive disorders, a poor diet, emotional and physical stress, and the use of antibiotics, which destroy the good bacteria along with the bad. If you suffer from gas and bloating, constipation, mood disorders, skin inflammation, sugar cravings, chronic fatigue, among others, your gut is not performing at its best and this compromises your immunity. Did you know that one of the most effective supplements you can take to support your immunity are actually probiotics? It makes perfect sense when we consider that around 70% of our immune system is based in the gut and that the beneficial bacteria in it are crucial for protecting us against the harmful ones. These health-promoting bacteria are key for digestion, breaking down indigestible fibers and stopping your body from absorbing heavy metals and other heavy substances. Adding fermented foods to your diet, like sauerkraut, naturally fermented pickles, yogurt, kefir, buttermilk, kimchi, tempeh, miso and natto can naturally help balancing your gut flora. If you do choose a supplement, there are a few things to consider. First, look for a probiotic dose that contains billions of organisms. This varies from 5 to 100 billion colony forming units, or CFUs, which is an estimate of the number of bacteria per dose that is capable of dividing and forming colonies. Start with a low CFU count and increase it gradually. Secondly, look for a supplement that contains multiple strains. These are usually listed as a proprietary blend. Your gut is diverse, so your probiotics should be too. And lastly, to be a true probiotic, it must contain live and active bacterial cultures in order to be effective. Go for foods first and add probiotics occasionally to enhance your immunity, particularly if you need a certain strain of bacteria that's not available from food source. Another factor that greatly enhances your gut flora is consuming prebiotic foods. These are types of dietary fiber that feed your friendly bacteria and help them flourish. This in turn helps certain strains synthesize nutrients such as B-group vitamins, including folates, riboflavin and B12. Prebiotics include beans, asparagus, onions, green bananas, Irish moss and fermentable fiber sources. 5. Herbal tea and extract There is a growing interest in herbs for their medicinal properties, even more so with scientific researches supporting their benefits. Some of the most popular herbal remedies have been used for thousands of years and they can help you fight off common colds and flus, among many other ailments, and even shorten the duration of an illness altogether. Adding some immune-boosting herbs to your diet can help your body feel significantly healthier and stronger, whether you're looking to reduce your chances of getting sick or you're recovering from an illness. While I can only mention a handful of herbs for an overall immunity boost, I highly recommend researching other herbs if you want to treat a specific condition. I'll leave a link to other herbs at the end of this video if you want to check them out. Astragalus is an adaptogen, meaning it helps the body balance out what needs balancing. Adaptogens protect your body against physical, mental and emotional stresses, and they protect your immune system as well. Astragalus has antiviral properties which help prevent colds and upper respiratory infections. It is rich in saponins, a compound that is known to stimulate an immune response in white blood cells. Sage extract and herbal tea help cleanse mucus from the respiratory tract and alleviates nasty coughs and sore throats. Essiac tea enhances detoxification, boosts immune function and reduces inflammation. It's high in antioxidants and made from a blend of health-promoting herbs, including burdock root, slippery elm, sheep sorrel and Indian rhubarb. Burdock root contains compounds shown to promote blood circulation, improve skin texture and stabilize blood sugar levels. Slippery elm is rich in antioxidants and may aid in treating diarrhea and easing irritable bowel syndrome. It's also believed to reduce coughing and bronchitis. Sheep sorrel has potent antiviral and anti-inflammatory properties. Indian rhubarb is high in antioxidants and reduces a variety of symptoms such as constipation and fever. You can kick things up a notch by going for an even more potent version of Essiac tea called Floor Essence. 
It contains the same four herbs found in Essiac plus four other herbs, red clover, blessed thistle, kelp and watercress. Echnatia tea provides relief for many inflammation related issues too. It has been used most effectively to fight off upper respiratory infections, including cold and flu viruses. It's often recommended for sore throat, strep throat, tonsillitis, canker and cold sores, septic conditions and gangrene, among many other conditions. Olive leaves have many health-promoting polyphenols, antioxidants, antifungal properties, phytonutrients and sterols, all essential for reducing inflammation. The traditional uses of this herb are supported by studies in which aloropin, hydroxytyrosol and other compounds have shown to inactivate viruses and make them incapable of replication. These compounds make the leaves effective against viral infections that cause influenza and similar respiratory infections, especially when fever is present. Olive leaves also stimulate your body's phagocytes, which are responsible for eating harmful bacteria. Studies reveal that they kill Candida and E. coli bacteria. Another interesting factor is that olive leaf is a safe alternative to antibiotics that does not cause resistance, in which bacteria become immune to common antibiotics. As always, consult with your healthcare practitioner before using these herbs. 6. Sleep We all know that poor quality sleep weakens the immune system and invites cold and flu infections but many of us tend to ignore or not prioritize this. This is not something new, but it's such a crucial aspect of building our immunity that it cannot be left out of the list. It doesn't matter how well we look after ourselves if our bodies cannot repair themselves at night. It's as simple as that. To promote healthy sleep, avoid eating or exercising close to bedtime, keep your bedroom well ventilated and go to bed around the same time every day. 7. Intermittent Fasting Fasting is the most ancient, inexpensive and powerful healing practice known to mankind. There are many remarkable benefits of this healing modality for boosting immunity. The beauty of fasting in a nutshell is that once your body has completed digestion, it diverts more energy and focus to other important areas for an effective immune regulation. These repair mechanisms are turned on through the release of human growth hormone. Have you ever wondered why people lose appetite when they get sick? This inner mechanism is the body's way of influencing us to fast so that we can produce the right environment to boost natural immunity. So the more energy is directed towards digestion, the less energy is used for healing. Intermittent fasting also stimulates the process of autophagy, where the body breaks down old, damaged cells to recycle for energy. It restricts viral infections and the replication of intracellular parasites, as well as protecting the brain and tissue cells from abnormal growth, toxicity and chronic inflammation. If you're new to fasting and wish to have a go, start with a basic fast for 12 hours between dinner and breakfast, gradually increasing your fasting window if you feel comfortable to do so. Take your time with this. If you try to reduce your eating window too soon, your body will not be able to adjust, making it harder to fast in the long run and you will likely stop it altogether. 8. Manage your stress You've probably noticed that just when you have too much on your plate, you also come down with a cold or flu. We know that excess stress increases levels of cortisol, which in turn weakens your body's ability to fight off infections. Stress depletes essential vitamins and minerals too. Cutting sources of stress out is an obvious solution, but unfortunately for many of us, it's not always possible. Therefore, it's even more important to incorporate hobbies that offset heightened stress levels. Physical activities are extremely effective and energy giving. But calming activities, anything from meditation and deep breathing exercises to simply reading a book, can be just as effective to flush out stress. You might want to consider infrared sauna. Aside from the remarkable benefits of traditional saunas already mentioned, some studies have found infrared therapy to be helpful for lowering cortisol. Bonus, forest bathing. If you enjoy taking your time to unwind and connect with nature, you're going to love this. Simply put, forest bathing involves slowly walking through a forest, 
taking in the atmosphere through all your senses and enjoying the benefits that come from such an excursion. This concept originated in Japan and has been part of the Japanese healthcare system since the early 80s for the mental, physical and spiritual benefits it offers. Researchers suggest that long-term benefits include reduced stress, improved immunity, lower blood pressure and accelerated recovery from illness or trauma. The health secrets of forest bathing seem to lie in two things, the high concentration of oxygen that exists in a forest and the presence of substances emitted by plants called phytoncides. Evergreens are the largest producers of phytoncides, so walking in an evergreen forest seems to have the greatest health benefits. These natural oils are part of a plant's defense mechanism against bacteria, insects and fungi. Exposure to these substances have been proven to enhance the activity of natural killer cells that help our bodies to fight disease. If you're not able to get out to a forest, you can use essential oils to create a similar experience at home or wherever you are. Conifer essential oils come from sources like cypress, pine, juniper, cedar wood and fir contain many of the same beneficial substances released by the trees. One study found that the anti-inflammatory effects were even greater when these oils were combined with frankincense. Using a diffuser in the room, or even a diffuser necklace, or a personal inhaler are good ways to experience these oils. Are you a health nut? Join the health nut hour today, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification and I'll keep you updated on future videos. See you in the next one.